Hi everyone. In the live discussion that I did last night, and I'm trying to do them these days almost every night, so usually late, so tune in. I probably will do one tonight as well, God willing. Um, one of these Israel haters, who at least had the courage to show his face, one of these anti-Semites was saying that Shmuley, you're an Islamophobe. I want to address that for a moment. You know, the, great, the best um, defense is a good offense. If you attack me and the Jews as Islamophobes, then you can absolve Hamas and the anti-Semites of their savagery, their brutality, what happened October 7th, the River to the Sea chant, which is about annihilating the Jewish people, the second Holocaust. So I'm really, I really allow myself to put, be put on the defensive and I'm not gonna do it now either. I wanna just be clear the difference between an Islamophobe is and someone who wants to stop the Islamists. Not only am I not an Islamophobe, I am actually someone who has championed the Islamic religion throughout my entire life. When I was a rabbi at Oxford University, I worked so hard to get Muslim students uh, halal meat, which they did not have at the time because halal and kosher are essentially the same. They used to come to me for Shabbos dinner, tons of Muslim students from some of the most distinguished Arab families in the world. And a lot of them who would drink our wine or would drink alcohol, I would pull them to the side quietly and never to embarrass them, God forbid, and I'd say, you know, you come from a very distinguished Arab has household. What you do in your life, it's not my business, but what you do in public in front of other people, you should honor the Islamic prohibition on, uh, on drinking alcohol. To the extent that in, in Oxford at the time, especially like this is the beginning of uh, Ayatollah uh, Khomeini's fatwa against the British author, Salman Rushdie, who would later have his eye taken out by a crazy Islamist, to the extent that there were many people who thought Islam was only a violent religion when the fatwa came out against Rushdie, I came out strongly in the Oxford Union in famous debates and I said, and I, and I reiterated, as you can see in videos and debates all across the internet, that Islam has one of the most glorious uh, histories of enlightenment, the Spanish, Jewish, Islamic golden age in Spain, how the greatest Islamic ruler of all time, Sultan Salah al-Din uh, Saladin, had as his chief physician and advisor the greatest rabbi that ever lived, Rabbi Moses Maimonides. The first universities were started actually in Morocco by, by an Arab woman, a woman, Fatima in the 8th century. Uh, the Prophet Muhammad himself married a Jewish woman. He was not an anti-Semite at all, God forbid. I could go on. There's no reason to. Because Islam is a great world of faith. The people that are hurting Islam, the real Islamophobes, are not Rabbi Shmuley Botev, who loves my Muslim brothers and sisters, and says openly right now, as I've always said, that Islam is one of the world's great, truly great faiths that has brought the knowledge of God and monotheism to the entire world. And it's a real monotheism. Uh, it doesn't believe in a trinity, it doesn't believe that God could be split into three, it doesn't believe that God has, is anthropomorphic, has arms, legs, or anything like that. It would see the incarnation of Jesus, for example, as a divinity, as, as, a, as an abomination to the faith. Uh, Islam believes that Jesus was a prophet, but certainly not a deity. But, here's the problem. The real Islamists are the Islamists. It's all you people out there who want to see me dead, who th threaten my children with death, God forbid. It's the people like Muhammad Hijab who are an embarrassment, an ignoramus, a bully, and an abomination to Islam. And all you fools who are stupid enough to follow this buffoon who doesn't know Islamic law, who says openly that Muslim, that the Quran says that five-year-old girls can have sex. Who's the real Islamophobe? Rabbi Shmuley Mutaf, who wants to restore Islam to its great history, its great glory as a faith of peace, coexistence, harmony, like I see all the time in Dubai, in Abu Dhabi, in the United Arab Emirates. What a glorious Islam in a very religious society. I was there during Ramadan, watching people fast the whole day, 30 days, it was so inspiring. I'm Islamophobe or is it Muhammad Ijab and all of you who are like him or are silly enough to follow him, who says that Islam says that AIDS is a punishment from God to kill off gay men and have them die in the most gruesome way. He actually says that blood comes out of their anus and things like that, always speaking about male and anatomical parts in the most disgusting way, speaking about little girls having sex. I mean, this stuff is grotesque and it makes Islam into an abomination, let alone the constant calls for jihad as a genocide against the Jewish people. That's Islamophobia. Take your religion back for God's sake. Take it back already. Stop allowing the Muhammad jobs of this world to disgrace Islam, to denigrate Islam, to libel Islam, to defame Islam. What is wrong with my Muslim brothers and sisters that they allow these thugs to become their modern prophets? What is wrong with you that you would allow that? If I saw my Judaism being taken over by crazies, monsters, savages, killers, if I had heard of one idea of soldier, even accused of raping a Palestinian woman in Gaza, I'd be all over this phone, these videos right now, decrying that abomination. But there isn't even the allegation against the IDF. So we Jews don't do that. And to the extent that we have bad apples, and every religion does, we condemn them. 
We, ex we purge them. We excoriate them. For those of you who actually like Mojab, Muhammad Ijab, and by the way, a lot of people say to me, you know, you call Mojab, you're insulting the Prophet. No, no, God forbid. I honor the Prophet. The Prophet Muhammad brought the knowledge of God to billions and billions of people. He brought monotheism to billions and billions of people who on the Arabian Peninsula and beyond were pagans at the time. I honor the Prophet. He disgraces the Prophet by having the Prophet's name and humiliating the Prophet's memory by saying that the Prophet wants to see little girls having sex. God forbid the Prophet Muhammad would ever, ever allow such a thing. Or that the Prophet Muhammad would look at a gay man dying of AIDS and say, good for you, I hope you suffer because God's punishing you. The Prophet Muhammad would never do any such thing. Now for those of you who believe he would, then you can follow Islamism all you want, which is a political ideology that wants to see people die, not in the name of, of, of religion or Islam, but just in the name of hating Jews, of hating the West, of hating people that are different. For those of you, my Muslim brothers and sisters, who like me honor the Islamic faith, who want to see it respected, loved, grow with peace, harmony, coexistence, then join me, not Mojab. God bless you.